Okay, why are you licking my arm? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing something a little different. I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I figured I would. I'm gonna be doing a review and wear test on the new Maybelline 24 hour super stay bulk coverage foundation. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, if you can see it, the lights are pretty bright. This is a new foundation. I have the shade 102 Fair Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. So we're gonna see how that works out. Usually I'm the lightest shade in just about every foundation because look how pasty I am. But we're gonna give this guy a go today. I think it's gonna be good. I've heard some good things about it. I've been trying not to watch too, too many reviews because I knew I wanted to try this. I have really high hopes. So without further ado, we're gonna get started with the video. If you like this style video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I know you're watching. Just click that, click that subscribe button. Um, and we'll jump right into the video. Okay, so this foundation claims to have full coverage up to 24 hour wear. I don't know if we're gonna test it for that long, but we, we'll see. It has a seamless matte finish. It's breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil-free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested. And that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds like everything I'm looking for, so. Of course, it comes in a pump. It has a glass bottle, really, really nice for the drugstore. I think this was somewhere around $12, so not a bad price point at all. Let's see, let's pump a little bit out. Okay, so this is what the shade is looking like. Let's see, let's swatch a -roo. Oh, okay, so that is very light. That actually might even be too light for me. Is that possible? Oh, it's too light! It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Somebody has made a foundation that is too light for my body. Okay, that's all right, we'll use bronzer. <laughs> We're gonna start with about one pump-ish and I am gonna do half my face with a brush. This is my Morphe E31 brush, hi hey, Wally. <laughs> and then we've got the Eco Tool sponge on the other side. So my two faves at the moment. So let's try the sponge first and see how this goes. I'm just dipping a little. I don't know how far this is gonna go. Oh shit, that's light. Oh my God, that's super light. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? I'm gonna be ghostly. We may have to really bronze it up here. Um, It goes really far to start off. Jesus. Like that covered my everything. Okay, okay. It's spreading out really nicely. Um, getting pretty good coverage, I, I would say. Um, I primed with my Smashbox pore minimizing primer, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I'm gonna dip back in just a teensy bit, just for my forehead. And I mean, I feel like I'm getting really good coverage with this guy. It looks, how does it look? Um, it looks fairly smooth, I would say. I mean, shoot, like, actually that match isn't too, too bad. Maybe I'm paler than I thought. I'll bring it down my neck a little bit because, you know, I'm not trying to look like a psychopath. But I mean, it covered pretty well, I feel like. I would say that's about high medium coverage right there, just off the bat, which I think is pretty good. And I didn't even use a full pump. I still have some in the back of my hand, so that's pretty good. All right, let's try the brush. So I'm just gonna pump out a little more and we're gonna go ham on the brush side. So let's see, oh geez, I don't know what to do. Oh. This has like, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought this had a scent to it. Does it? No, it doesn't have a scent to it. Um, it's my brush cleaner that I'm smelling. I just cleaned all my brushes and all I can smell is brush cleaner. Uh, 
Um, let me see. I feel like I'm getting better coverage with the brush for sure. Definitely better coverage with the brush. I can, I can feel it in my soul. I think the finish looks smoother on the sponge side. What I'm gonna do after this is smooth everything over with the sponge. What is going on with my hair? Oh my God, we're falling apart. Actually, I kind of think this looks pretty good. Yeah, the color match really isn't too bad. It's a little light, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna take a teensy bit on the back of my sponge. Um, cause you can still see a little bit coming through there. Oh, that looks really bad around my nose right there. So I'm gonna take just a teeny bit on the back of my sponge here and I'm gonna try to see if we can build it up a little just where I need it. Um, I'm gonna build it up here too. Yeah. Wow, this really goes a long way. I actually can't believe how long of a way this goes. Let's try to smooth out my nose too because this spot is looking, ugh. Okay, now that coverage I can get down with. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, this definitely looks better when you apply it with a brush and smooth it out with a sponge. I know that's a little extra, but I mean, it really made a big difference, I think. So I'm just gonna add just a teensy bit more right here, just to make sure all that shit is covered. I'm kind of feeling it. Yes, I'm really digging it, actually. I'm gonna have to spot conceal that one spot because she's not moving, honey. She's moved in and she has made it her home. This is what it's looking like. You can still see just a teeny bit coming through right there, which is not terrible. Um, it's kind of cakey around my nose, which I'm not a fan of. You can kind of smooth that away a little bit. It's just looking a little bit cakey around my nose, which I'm not thrilled about. On this side, it looks really good. This side, I really want to build that up there, but I don't know why it's not building like I want it to. I would put this one at a high medium coverage. That's what I would say. It looks pretty smooth. It's definitely matte for sure. Um, we are not getting a whole lot of glow. That's yeah, like a natural matte, not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and come right back. All right, so I'm back. I have the rest of my makeup on. I was feeling smoky today. Ooh, girl. I was feeling very smoky today. Um, <laughs> so let me tell you what I used quick. I'm gonna tell them what we used to do on our faces. Don't lick it off, don't lick it off. No, I worked hard for this. Obviously I went in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I primed with my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. For concealer, I used my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I've been really liking that one. It's super matte, it looks amazing. To set my face, I use my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. I use it every day, it's my favorite powder at the moment. For bronzer, and blush and all that. I used my Tardis Pro Glow palette for my contour. Then I went in with my Smashbox Casey Holmes Pearl palette for my highlight. Uh, and that's everything for the face. I misted myself with my Mario Badescu Lavender Spray, which has also been my favorite recently. I've been really liking that one. And then for my brows, I did my usual Anastasia Dip Brow and Chocolate Clear Brow Gel call it a day. For eyes, I used my Kathleen Lights ColourPop palette, the Dream Street. I freaking love that palette. It's so small and compact, easy for travel and stuff like that. It's just so good. And I was feeling like Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood glam kind of vibes today. So that's what we went with. Use my Bad Gal Bang mascara, my Marc Jacobs highliner in blacker, my favorites. And that's about it. That's all I used today. This is the finished look. She's, she's slayed. She's a little pale, but she's slayed. I'm gonna come back. It's about 12.30 now. I'm gonna eat some lunch, get my nails done. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit and see what my final thoughts are. Right now, the foundation, aside from that spot on my nose that will not just cover up, um, I think the foundation looks pretty good. It's very matte. It's a little dry. I'm not loving how dry it is, but um, the Mario Badescu spray helped with that a little bit. Color's a little pale, but we out here living anyway, so. Yeah, this is what it's looking like on the first go around. I'll check back with you guys in a couple of hours and see how we're doing. Just so you know, this is what I have to deal with while I'm filming. 
Okay, I'm popping back in for a minute because I forgot to tell you what my lip color is. So my lip color is also, here's what it looks like in natural lighting. I think it looks really pretty in natural lighting. Not too bad. Still a little dry. Me, you can kind of see up close. It's pretty freaking dry, especially like my forehead and stuff. Oof. Um, I'm going for another facial peel tomorrow, but my lip combo. So for lips, I did, what did I do? Oh, I did Urban Decay 1993 Vice Lipstick and um, Anastasia Butterscotch Gloss. So that's what the combo is. This is what my skin's looking like in natural lighting. And again, I'm gonna go eat lunch and get my nails done. All right, so I just got back from running my errands. I got my nails done. I haven't got my nails done in like a year. And this lady literally gave me the best massage of my life on my hands and stuff. She did like my whole arm, the, the whole arm. I don't know what possessed her to do the whole arm, but I am not complaining because it was so good. And yeah, I gave her a really good tip and I'll be back in a couple of weeks to see her because I really liked it. Um, but other news, foundation, how are we doing? Actually, not too bad. My oils are starting to come through. What time is it right now? Let me look on my microwave. Oh my gosh, it's three o'clock. It's been on since about 11.30. 12.30, 1.30, 2 .30. So it's been on like three and a half hours. And I think it actually looks better now that the oils are starting to come through. Uh, my natural oils. Because I like a little bit of a dewier finish. It, I think right now it looks really healthy. It doesn't look nearly as dry as it did before. So I'm really pleased with how it's looking right now. And um, I'm going to check back in a couple more hours. Okay, so it's about 7 p.m. And the foundation's been on for quite some time. It's been on about 8 seven and a half eight hours now and it's looking pretty horrific in my t-zone my forehead is breaking up my nose is just like right in here and on my nose Ooh, girl that's bad my cheeks are still looking fine up here on my forehead's not so bad it's just like right in the center of my forehead you can see it's breaking up pretty bad and just my nose is just a train wreck. So I think if I was gonna use this one again, I would use it with another one in the center of my face that I know lasts well. For most part of the day, it, I mean, it looked pretty good. I'm not super greasy or anything like that. It just really broke up around and on my nose and in my T-zone, so. I mean, I'm not getting any smile line creasing or anything like that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's just really around my nose and my forehead that looks like total shit so yeah I mean not doing too bad I'll check in in a couple hours just to give you my final thoughts okay, so it's almost 10 30 right, it's been on um, for any oof. it's been on for like 11 hours and I mean it's pretty much completely broken apart at this point not looking so hot my oily af actually not that oily for me but me it's not great it's pretty broken apart just not looking so hot anymore <laughs> which is okay after 11 hours i got look at this little nugget god i can't um it looks pretty good up until about I would say about five or six hours, so this is definitely not a 24-hour foundation for sure, but I will say that between like two and six hours, it looked the best. So originally it was pretty dry, then it totally, you know, looked fine once my oil started originally coming through, and then once, once the oil seeped through, then it was all downhill from there, so... Now we're an oily mess and it's time to wash this stuff off. But yeah, um, I would use this again. I would probably mix it in with something that lasts a little better maybe for my skin or try different primers with it, but it's not a bad foundation. I would try it again. Um, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos. I do have a bunch of uh, other foundations coming. I have the new LA Girl Pro Matte one. I have the Clinique 2-in-1, which is an older one, but a lot of people are talking about it recently, so I figured I would try that one again. Comment down below and let me know what foundations you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!